So I was trying to record some model videos and a certain little kitty, certain little tripod kept trying to run in. And now we have quickly discovered that someone is also camera shy. Because I thought if she wanted to be out here, she would want to be in the video. This is Peanut, our tripod cat. Which we've done videos on, or I've done videos on. See? No, no, Peanut, you wanted to be here. You wanted to be here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. That's what I thought. Cats, they want attention. When they want attention. Peanut, the tripod. And my buddy cat that's usually very nearby and just really loves to cuddle. But don't get in her way or she will whop you with her one paw and she's not afraid to do it. Are you, girl? <laughs> yeah, for some reason cats seem to know when they're being recorded and they're not all about it. But yeah, I was doing some model videos and she's at the door and every time I'd <laughs> try to record and then I opened the door and she ran in as I was walking out with the model and then I went back in to get her and she ran out and I went in. Uh, that's my work room and so I keep a, a door shut. Cats don't normally get to go in there. The only one who has uh, room privileges is our old mama cat called Hobo. That's mostly because at her age sometimes she just needs a room to go to where the uh, the other cats won't bug her just to sleep and she never makes messes but uh, since peanut was insistent on having a video about her I thought I would talk about tripod three-legged cats and uh, cat adoption and animal adoption in general something my wife and I are uh, big proponents of in fact all of our cats are rescue one way or the other. A couple of them just showed up at our door. For example, Hobo. Also, Oscar. But other ones like Peanut are from the local shelter. And I've definitely done cat videos. As I had some clips there I just threw in. So maybe you can get a little more Peanut viewage. She's just... Uh, honestly, she's a cool cat. She just had a rough start to life. So, how we got her, we'd already pretty much put a moratorium on cats. No, no more cats. We, we have enough. It's hard to keep, you know, people think of cats as being independent. And they are, but they need attention and love, just like anyone. And... It was a Friday night. She'd just gotten off work. My wife works till about 7, 8 o'clock. And uh, she came in and said, Well, I wasn't going to tell you. I was thinking, Oh no, what's what's either an idiot family member done or uh, <laughs> what's happened? What utility bill's high? Or what, you know? Because usually she sorts the mail and she comes home. And she said, Well, the local shelter put up uh, a notice, a, uh, a plea. For someone to adopt this cat named Peanut. She's an amputee. They said that when she came to the shelter, her front left leg was just mangled and was painful and it had not healed properly. So they had to amputate. And she'd been at the shelter for eight months and no one had uh, adopted her. People are weird about adopting older cats. And she wasn't really old, but she's about a year. And also cats with, you know, special needs. I just, I don't know. People don't, you know, I don't know. E even Jay, who's a big animal person, although he goes more towards the dog end of things. You know, and he was just joking, I understand, but it, it's kind of funny, too. He said, why did you get a, a defective one when there's so many perfectly good cats? You know, but the thing is, no one had um, had adopted her or even really you know, picked her up and played with her. And they said, well, she's um, she's really shy. 
and you know they said she's she's loving but just really shy and scared and just you know been abused obviously and yeah but if no one would come adopt her soon they were going to have to take her to the local pets co pets go being a store here that you know sells pet supplies what they do is they let shelters have space either in the parking lot or up front to take their strays to to try to help them get adopted so the animals would um you know would be seen by more people and hopefully some kid would fall in love and take it home and guess who just started tapping my leg and is probably gonna jump in my lap come on you want up here she does this thing where she taps my leg with her paw when she wants up. Are you coming? Meow. Peanut. She's sniffing me. I'm telling you, they know when it's being recorded. Come on. Normally she jumps right up, but she's thinking something's a little wrong here. Something's a little off. <laughs> anyway. So they do that. That was a Friday night. Called the... Called the shelter the next morning. What had happened originally, I would basically said to my wife, Okay. Meaning, get the damn cat. I mean, obviously, she needed a home, and what can you do? And my wife thought it was me saying, Nope. So she walked away, and I said, well, can you, you know, about 30 minutes later, I said, well, I think you can go pick her up before or after work? And she kind of, no, no, because she, she, Saturdays are often a long day for her at work. And so I said, oh, so you found the cat, and now I'm, I've got to find a ride to go get her. So I called my cousin, and we went and picked her up at the shelter. I did call to make sure she was still available, and they said, oh yeah, she's there. So, went to the shelter, and told her who, the lady there who we were looking for, and they take us to one of their little interview rooms where the pets can interview you, and they brought her in, and she just really quietly was kind of, she wasn't hissing or anything, but she was just kind of hiding looking and I use the my cane has kind of a, a rope on the end you know to, to hang it with and stuff and I the animals love to play with it and so I was kind of tapping it on the ground and dragging it and she very timidly came up with her one little front paw and was just oh so reluctantly tapping it you could tell she wanted to play and she did that and then I finally coaxed her into coming into my lap and you know she was she was all right just really scared but not sure you know human interaction so you know we're gonna take her we go out front this is winter it's it's december no late november it's right after thanksgiving so i'm wearing a my my leather coat and a dog starts barking not aggressively but you know barking and she just starts shaking like a little leaf. And she buries herself inside my coat under my arm. And that was it. Uh, from that point on, she's been my cat. Um, <laughs> she uh, came, we, we brought her home and put her, we separated her out to a bathroom with her own litter box and food and water, which is what you're supposed to do. And, uh, you know, for the first day or so, she was pretty reluctant. But once she came out of her shell, she is the most affectionate cat, at least towards me and my wife, too. But my wife kind of jokes that, you know, she found her, and yet Peanut sees me as her savior. I'm like, well, that's, that's what I get. I had to go pick her up. She didn't know that you found her on Facebook. <laughs> but once she figured out that we humans were um, good for pets and food and we'd play with her and we wouldn't hurt her. That's it. Once she had her opportunity, she loves to sit in my lap. And um, at night, she's always sleeping near my, you know, on me or whatever. 
Sometimes during the middle of the night, she'll reach up with her paw and, like, tap my face just to make sure I'm there. And in the mornings, my wife gets up before me. She'll jump out of bed and then run to the bathroom for my wife to pet her. I mean, it's like, oh, I've gone for three or four hours without pets, so, you know, I, I might die. And, um... Then after that, my wife gets dressed, and she comes back and jumps on the bed with me, and yeah, does that. And uh, typically if I'm out recording videos, she needs to be there. And if another cat's in my lap, that's, you know, yeah, it's not acceptable. It needs to be her. One nice thing I've kind of trained her is not just to jump in my lap. As I said a minute ago, she kind of taps my leg and lets me know she's there, and if it's okay for her to jump up, I'll, I'll pat the arm of the chair. If it's not okay, I'll just reach down and scratch her ears. And she kind of gets this look. On the one hand, she likes the attention, the pets. But she also mean, knows that that means that she's not going to get to sit in my lap. But, uh, yeah, she really likes to just sit up and cuddle. And it's interesting having a, a, a tripod cat. They're, they're, it, she, she can't really stand. She kind of... When she's stationary, she kind of rolls on her side. But she can run pretty fast, but she kind of, she hops like a kangaroo. So her back legs are very muscular. She kind of uses her remaining front leg as more of a rudder to steer herself. And if she needs to bat at something, she has to kind of stop and then flop over on her side to uh, free up her front leg. But... That didn't stop her from playing with the other cats or, you know, doing stuff. Um, and she's very meticulous. Some some sources say their tripod cats have a hard time burying their stuff after going to the litter box. But Peanut's extremely meticulous about cleaning. And she's always, she's very aggressive about her grooming. So, yeah. She's just, she's into that. Uh, she can't really meow. I, I assume maybe when she was young, she was having to scream a lot or something. It's like her vocal cords are damaged, so she kind of goes... <coughs> or, uh... No, she has kind of a wide range of funny little noises. But, not really a meow. <laughs> but, yeah, she's a good cat, and she appreciates having a home. It's all she ever really wanted, I suppose. Well, maybe not having all the other cats here. I have a feeling she would not mind being the only cat. Of course, they told us that you know she can't really be an outside cat. Although I know people that have tripod cats outside, but they warned that she really shouldn't be an inside. Shouldn't be an outside cat. It needs to be an inside cat. Also, they said you know probably not great with kids, and I could see that. Um, my sister's daughter, my niece, has come over a few times, and whenever Peanut seems to hear other kids, she gets very agitated and uh, hides. In fact, anytime any company comes over, she hides. There's only uh, one or two other people that she'll come out. Otherwise, she is very shy. Uh, she just um, she doesn't trust humans as a general rule, and in her situation I really can't blame her but uh, yeah since I haven't done a cat video in a while and since she was insistent she gets some attention here she gets her very own video hope she it recognizes it peanut the tripod cat <laughs> alrighty guys this was a completely unplanned impromptu video so I'm gonna turn in for the night work on editing the uh, the model videos I just got to recording and I'll catch you very soon next time